Hi, this is Cass. You there? This is the Valder Beebe Show broadcasting live from yeah. Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studio with me? How do you how you doing, Valder? This is Cass Anvar. Well, Cass Anvar, thank you so very much. And I know you came to talk with me about the best-selling book that's now in a, ser a series called Expanse. That's right. Gonna... All right, then. I found it real interesting. Could you just give me a little bit of synopsis what The Expanse, you know, it's called an epic drama series based on the best-selling series of books by the same name? <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. We were calling it a space opera. Uh, the, the Expanse is um, it's a very, very realistic science fiction series. It's based on these best-selling novels by James S.A. Corey. Uh, I guess the, the best way I could describe it, it's set about 200 years in the future. Uh, Earth has just managed to colonize our own solar system. There's no uh, fancy, faster than light travel or artificial gravity. It's a very realistic, very gritty, very grungy kind of a science fiction epic. Um, very much in the spirit of Alien or Blade Runner or Battlestar Galactica. It has that kind of uh, earthy, gritty vibe to it. So we've colonized our solar system. We've got a colony on the moon, a colony on Mars, a col colonies in the asteroid belt. And uh, as colonies are, are wont to do, they're starting to get a little bit resentful of their homeland, which in this case is Earth. And there's tensions starting to brew and uh, a war is imminent and they're just waiting for this spark to ignite uh, the hostilities that are brewing. And that's when we start the series, is just when something happens to kind of trigger that spark. I think this is going to be, uh, you know, it coming, it's coming out at a great time. Star Wars has its resurgence, and right. I think it, it has a great place, but I'm very disappointed. I never read the book. So let me tell you why I'm disappointed. Okay. Because if we know that we have a future or we're planning for a future, you'd think we would work on some of the emotional intelligence of the people because it seems right. like... Even though it's 200 years in the future, the people just took the problems from a different planet. It's What's like moving wrong to a with them? See, we got rid of racism. We got rid of a lot of our medical and scientific and money issues on Earth. So the Earth is now populated by 20 billion people. Uh, and we're kind of basically one country run by the United Nations. But yeah, of course, we're going to go out and instead of having racism, we're going to have planetism. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, it's still a problem. And it seems like people have to congregate around something. People will and, never learn. They will never learn. You gotta try, now, though. <laughs> gotta try. <laughs> you gotta try. We do. I, I just really wish it was more. I I don't know. I've seen futuristic movies where the people were at peace. You know, you remember you used to watch uh, what was that? Uh, Captain Kirk and the people, and they'd go to those peaceful planets. Oh yeah, In the old Star Treks. Yeah. Exactly. Now, let me ask you, your character. What do you bring to that character? How do you make him realistic for us? Well, my character, I play uh, the fighter pilot Alex Kamal, and Alex Kamal is, uh, is a really interesting guy because uh, I kind of identify with him. He is a Mars-born uh, fighter pilot of East Indian Pakistani descent with a Texas accent. <laughs> so he's a, he's a nice little mix. He's a bit of a mutt. <clears throat> and that, that actually is a lot like me. I'm a, I'm a Canadian-born uh, former scientist who uh, went into acting that is a mix of Persian, Lebanese, and Indian uh, that often speaks with a Canadian accent. Yo. Okay, so yeah. okay, so you got that part down. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, no, he's also, he's a really interesting character. He's, he's kind of like the loner in, in the group. Um, most of the other characters have a lot of uh, interaction with each other, a lot of relationships with each other. He kind of a, a bit of a sit back, kind of watch and observe. And he's a, he's a wisecracker and he, he's always cracking jokes and he's always bringing in some very witty, very pertinent Texas witticism, some saying to kind of wrap things up and explain things to people and kind of get people to kind of like not take themselves so seriously and, and get themselves back on track and not get so emotional. Uh, so I kind of relate to that because I kind of like to sit back and watch and I kind of like to joke around and, and crack wise and not take life so seriously. So uh, I think I bring, I bring that part of myself to Alex. Okay, I got a question. Is there any sex in space? Oh God, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Well, um, I will tell you in the uh, in our first episode, you get you get a, you get to see what we can do in zero gravity. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Thank you. I didn't mean to throw you off your game. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So, Expanse. What network and what time? Uh, we're looking at Sci-Fi Network uh, at 10 p.m. December 14th is I think it's Monday, December 14th is the premiere, and then lucky people get to see part two 
uh, on December 15th, the next day, at 10 p.m. on Sci-Fi Network. And then from that time on, it's going to be uh, Tuesday nights at 10 p.m. on Sci-Fi. Okay, I can't wait. And you've been in some of my favorite, favorite shows or Get movies. Out. You have. You've been in Boston Legal, Castle. Yeah. You've been in quite a bit. You got, you got it going on. There's Boston my kids Legal and Castle, just as a little uh, note, you picked out the two that are headed up by my Canadian buddies, William Shatner and Nathan Fillion. So, that is true. Good choice. All right, then. Thank you so much. Come back and tell us when you, you know when you guys get big and famous, you know. Come okay. back to the little network over here. I'll be right back. Thank you so much. My guest today has been Cass Anbar. Thank you so much. And watch Expanse. Thanks, Cass. You're welcome. <laughs>